This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Tonight on NDTV Hindu, I'm Evelyn Matthew. Let's take a look at our top stories tonight. An ugly end to a quarrel between a girl and her beau. Girl throws acid on boy's face. A day after a crude bomb was found in the cargo section of a Kingfisher flight, passengers are quizzed for clues. Sending a package on plane might just get a bit more complicated. Senders' addresses will be verified. This however raises the question as to whether now these parcels, parcels will take more time uh, to reach the recipient. Tamil Nadu government says life sentence for anyone proves to be manufacturing fake drugs. Portal in the Kutram Nurubi Kapatal, Samana Patavar Lika, Ayil Tondanaka Kudi Alavirke, Ipol the Satan, Tirtam Sia Patrika. Three members of the family die in a fire accident at home. Victims' relatives say it's a case of suicide. Pernagaram gets ready for the bipole on the 27th of March after Captain Vijay Kant, Jayalalitha to campaign today. Sniffer dog squads in the city are short of funds, leaving these canines malnourished. And finally, what went wrong for the Chennai Super Kings during the Super Over? A girl in Chennai has allegedly attacked a boy by throwing acid on him. This comes after a quarrel between the two. The girl has been identified as 20-year-old Sri Vidya. She has been arrested by the Patinapakam police. Sri Vidya is a dropout from an engineering college in Chennai. The boy is an engineering student in his third year who participated in a fashion show against Sri Vidya's wish. He is now being treated at a hospital in Mandavili area in Chennai. Our reporter Salim joined us earlier and took us through what exactly happened. As of now, the, lated, uh, the latest details uh, is that the boy's eyes are severely damaged. Sources from the private hospital in R.A. Buram very clearly said that the boy's parents are, are actually planning to move the boy out of the hospital. They may take him to Gujarat, uh, the native place, or they may treat them at any other hospital, but against the medical advice. As of now, the, 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 boy, the, girls, uh, the boy's parents are refusing to talk to the media on record. But they did say that they don't want to uh, make this issue bigger, but they are very much worried about the fact that their son's eyes are very much damaged. The boy was initially taken to the private hospital in Horeburam and the hospital in turn filed a report to the police saying that this incident has taken place in the, in, uh, in the particular area and uh, the police were alerted. They filed a complaint. They arrested the girl yesterday and the girl was produced before the Saidapet magistrate this afternoon. Uh, and the sources uh, from the Saidapet court do say that the girl's parents produced some certificate saying that the girl is not mentally doing well. So, uh, considering those certificates, she was granted conditional bail and she is uh, right, uh, right now residing at her residence in Mailapur. In other news, the passengers on board IT4731 on which a crude bomb was found are being quizzed by the Tiruvananthapuram City Police. The investigating officers are questioning at least eight passengers who were on the flight to know who exactly placed the packet in the aircraft that flew from Bengaluru to Tiruvananthapuram. After the crude bomb caused a flutter at the Bengaluru and Tiruvananthapuram airports, the Bureau of Civil Aviation Security has issued an advisory to all airports in this country to step up security. Packages wrapped in newspapers and plastic will now be thoroughly checked before clearance. Besides, the agency has also advised not to accept any courier without verifying the sender's address. Our reporter Ramanathan took stock of the security arrangements for the cargo at the Chennai airport. 
After the suspicious packet with traces of gunpowder was found on the Bangalore Trivandrum Kingfisher flight yesterday, the security has been stepped up, especially for all the parcel services across all airports and all cargo facilities in the country. Now, we've been talking to a few CISF sources and they've been telling us that all the physical checking which they're responsible for, they've upscaled the security there and they're taking more care uh, inside the airport, inside the security and the security inside all airports. But as far as the parcel services are concerned, we've spoken to a few people at the BC is the Bureau of Civil Aviation Security and they have issued a directive to all courier services and all um, the parcel services and uh, uh, the, the authorities here that anything which comes wrapped in a newspaper or, or in a plastic material has to be checked thoroughly before it is being accepted and also now the sender's address of uh, which is put up on uh, these parcels have also uh, should also be confirmed and checked and verified before these parcel uh, parcels are accepted this however raises the question as to whether now these parcels parcels will take more time uh, to reach the recipient and if you know it's going to create more hassles uh, for the people who are sending these parcels with camera person Srinivas Ramanathan for NDTV Hindu a fire broke out at the Bhagwat Chalam road in Vyasarpadi it happened due to a spark from a gas welding machine due to which three cylinders exploded. Eight huts have been gutted and 20 families have lost their belongings. Several two-wheelers and autos were damaged. The agitated crowd attacked the nearby fire station for failing to put off the fire on time. A day after seven persons were arrested in connection with repackaging and selling expired drugs, the Tamil Nadu government has issued a stern warning to pharmaceuticals who are involved in selling fake drugs and expired medicines. Our health reporter Nithila reports. The Chief Minister has given a clear prescription to top health officials and police officers. Raids as many as times as possible across the 42,000 pharmaceuticals in the state will cure the problem of spurious drugs. This comes after several fake drug rackets were reported this month. We have on 10th and 11th we inspected about 15-20 uh, companies, out of which we located some seven fellows. It was an organized gang and we have seized drugs and subsequently we conducted an uh, investigation on 17th. 25 teams comprising both the police and drug control department will now conduct raids. Creating awareness among the public is high on agenda. Violators of law will be punished severely, from imprisonment for a year or two to a life sentence. Nariya kadayil meide, raid seide nariya valakki galai nam padivu seide rukrom. Idu pondra poli mandigal matram kala abdi yana mandigalai virpane seida lavarle ku bande. Ipolo thandane adiya patta patti rukrode. Court chile na kutram nurubi ke pattal samanda patta varle ku ayil thonda nekide ke kudi alavirke. Most often, the label of expired drugs are changed and sold. In case of suspicion, you could call the government helpline 044-2433-8421. In Chennai, with reporter Nithila and camera person Raja Singh, Radhika Ayer, NDTV Hindu. In an update on the tragic incident where three family members died in a mysterious fire accident, it now appears that the father had in fact poured kerosene on himself, his wife and their six-year-old child and set them on fire. Although the police say the investigations are still on to know whether it was indeed an accident or a mass suicide. But relatives of the family members who died say the father, Tanga Pandian, had a drinking condition his wife, Shanti, aged 38, was a victim of domestic violence. But what was the fault of the six-year-old girl, Janani? Here's what a distraught relative of the victims had to say. Still ahead, our hard-working sniffer dogs in the city just don't get enough to eat. That story is coming up on the other side.